Welcome to The Borderline, Transitioning to Natural Hair with me, Michelle Two States. Hey YouTube world, this is Michelle Two States and welcome to the Borderline channel, Transitioning to Natural Hair. Now as you can see, tonight from the last few videos, I took my braids out today and this would have been week three, but I was just not trying to do it anymore. Um, but I'm just really enjoying this little fro here because man, I, I'm so timid to just chop and I can't wait till I have a fro this size. Um, this is lovely. Now you can see I have a few little straight ends here because, um, like I said, I had my hair in a bun um, at the end when I was braided. So I didn't really do anything but wrap it in a bun. So that's why I'm getting these little loose, thin curls here. Um, but I'm really, really loving this. I'm really, I can't wait to grow my hair out and be natural like this. This is lovely. Um, but one thing that I wanted to kind of do today was share with you my long-term transition goals. Now, if you didn't already know, I am a long-term transitioner. Um, sorry, I didn't mention that previously. But um, I do plan to transition at least 18 months. And that would be a year and a half. And hopefully by then, um, my hair has grown enough. If not, I'm going to do it for two years and then big chop. Um, but hopefully by 18 months, I'll have enough growth that I'm satisfied with that I can chop it and... Not to let it's too, too short. Now, um, being a long-term transitioner, uh, I know I see a lot of people do that, and then they end up big chopping early. Um, but I definitely want to hold tight to it. It is tempting to big chop. It's very tempting because you just can't wait to see your hair and play with it. You're seeing it grow in, and you kind of wonder how it functions without the relaxed ends. But um, I'm going to hang in there. I'm hanging there as much as possible. But 18 months so far is my goal. That means that I would end up big chopping in, let's see, I decided to go natural December. Um, so this December will be a year. That means I'll be big chopping in June. Uh, that's just less than a year away, really. Um, right now, I am seven months post-relaxer. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I got another year, less than a year to go uh, before I reach my goal of 18 months. But um, during this time, I definitely want to um, experiment with my hair, enjoy it. Um, I'm going to take a break from the braids right now because I had so much tension here that blistered in the front and it blistered in the back that I kind of don't want to pull my hair as tight just that. I'm going to let it go for a week or two uh, before I style it that, um, that way again. So those are my long-term transition goals. Please stay tuned with me on my journey as I document and share with you guys. I'm very excited. And for those who are transitioning, I hope you're having fun. I hope you're enjoying your hair. Um, it definitely is, to me, as far as um, transitioning long term, it's very fun to see. It's very fun to see and play with your hair and manipulate it. Um, and I know it's challenging with some styles and with the amount of growth that you may have. Um, but I'm definitely determined to overcome that because I definitely know there's people out there who are going to be doing the same thing, having the same questions and concerns. So I definitely want to share that with you guys. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Rate, subscribe, comment. Check out my other videos. See you later.